you watched my previous podcast with Dan Rourke, or if you've been watching this channel since it began in 2019, you know that I began my YouTube journey doing movie reviews on the Ski Lodge. Uh, so it felt kind of like old times when I saw that CC Sabathia had a new documentary coming out on HBO Max, which is the new service from HBO. The movie is called Under the Grapefruit Tree, which is a reference to how he got good at baseball, throwing grapefruits at a folding chair underneath a grapefruit tree at his home in Vallejo, California. It was documented during the 2019 season, and it features a lot of behind the scene footage of CC Sabathia, Yankees players, CC's family, uh, people that are within CC's inner circle. You also have guys like Brian Cashman on there to talk about the acquisition of CC Sabathia and CC Sabathia as a person. The movie clocks in at one hour and seven minutes, which is pretty reasonable for a sports documentary. Uh, it features interviews with CC Sabathia and also some pre written narration by Sabathia, which honestly could have been delivered better. Uh, sometimes it breaks out in interview format and it talks about, uh, you know, his times growing up or his times with certain teams and it'll show footage of those times. There's even some great footage of CC Sabathia in Little League. The movie also talks about the death of CC Sabathia's father of cancer, which was brought on by HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. He also talks about his struggles with addiction, which kind of flared up in the 2015 season. You remember he had to go to rehab. It talks a little bit about the events that led up to that incident. It talks about his heart problems. You might remember several years ago, uh, CC Sabathia began the season uh, by having his heart looked at. You know, he's a bigger guy, hasn't always had the healthiest diet. And so, you know, he's actually lost a lot of weight since uh, his career ended. He looks like a totally different guy, and uh, I'm happy to see him do that, uh, especially since you find out that one of his cousins died of a heart attack at 45. That's kind of my worst fear, is just my heart just stopping, because there's nothing you can do about it, especially if there's nobody around. Ugh. One part that stuck out in my mind is how many people we used to actually pack into these baseball stadiums. Remember that when you could just go be around a crowd of people and just breathe air like normal? Those were the days. The documentary features a lot of clips from Yankees games, from Brewers games, from Indians games, but it's not really a sports documentary. I mean, I guess it kind of is. It's more about a human story of CeCe Sabathia, both on and off the field, but it doesn't talk about his statistics that much or anything like that. It talks more about the evolution of CeCe Sabathia as a human being, and we're all human beings, so we should all be able to connect to that. Uh, the movie spends a bit of time talking about his trade from the Indians to the Brewers in 2008, where he just went off. He ran out of gas in the playoffs, he said, but uh, he basically pitched on three days rest all the way down the stretch over those three months to try and get the Brewers to the playoffs, and he did so successfully. He just ran out of gas. And then, of course, he signs with the Yankees before the 2009 season, immediately helps them win a World Series. Uh, they interview Brian Cashman about that. They said that CC Sabathia uh, actually got an offer from the Yankees on the first day of free agency, which I found interesting because the Yankees were obviously very aggressive with him uh, in a way that they really aren't that much anymore with free agents. Now, I can't blame them this year. Uh, last year, they definitely went after Garrett Cole, but it took a while. Uh, CC Sabathia was somebody that they put their best foot forward right away. They really wanted Sabathia, and it worked out for the most part, especially with that World Series title in 2009. He also pitched pretty well in 2010. He won 21 games, and he took them to the American League Championship Series, uh, where he was unfortunately beaten by the uh, Texas Rangers and MVP Josh Hamilton. By the way, back to the Brewers thing. He had some major cojones to pitch on three days rest all the way down the stretch because he was about to be a free agent and he was risking injury and a possible 100 plus million dollar payday. So shout out to CC Sabathia for that. Uh, but overall, there were a lot of great memories in this documentary. Uh, if you're a Yankees fan and you have access to HBO or HBO Max, it's available now. Uh, and give it a watch. You won't regret it. I'd say it's a pretty good sports documentary. It's not really up there with some of the great 3030s like Elway to Marino or, you know, Without Bias or No Moss or, um, you know, uh, Jordan Rides the Bus. But it is a pretty good little documentary. Overall, I give this documentary four out of five popcorns. 
Very nice job by HBO. Very nice job by CC Sabathia. And CC, if you're watching this one podcaster to another, hit me up on Twitter. I would love to have you on the show. It would be an awesome interview. Uh, and I'd love to talk a little bit about baseball, a little bit about making a documentary. Everybody else, like and subscribe. Tune in next time. I'll see you after the new year unless something happens. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel. Sponsorships are always available, so feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at NYY Recaps. Thanks for watching.